contains a growing list of needs to improve and enhance the quality of life in Santa Fe for its citizens to live, work, and play, to basic services like the maintenance of roads, bridges, and worn sewer lines. What funding mechanisms would you support to pay for quality of life, initiatives versus basic needs? Well, first of all, let me say that uh, we are in dire financial straits at the city, but I think we can straighten it out. I think we can straighten it out and find money for extra things, but it won't be immediately. What we have to do is go in there and cut the fat, do uh, uh, diagnostic evaluations of the city, the management structure, and do audits, which I started, which were stopped, several of them after I, or a few of them after I left, that I proposed to do for, for cost saving and efficiency reasons. Quality of life is something that we create amongst ourselves with the spirit of community. The, the reason that you hire us to work for you is to provide you with basic services. Public safety, getting your trash picked up, sewer, water, streets cleaned in an efficient manner and an inexpensive manner to the, ex manner to the extent that we're able to do that for you. I am opposed to putting any more taxes or levies or or any more burden on the people of Santa Fe until we get our own ho house in order at the city, and then we'll look at quality of life initiatives. Thank you. Well, first I want to tell you that uh, the city of Santa Fe finances are in pretty good shape. There's nowhere near a $10 million deficit coming up. Actually, we have over and above our statutorily mandated reserves of 9% of our budget. We have $11 million in reserves. I met with the finance director yesterday. Our deficit for this year is about $1.1 million. We believe we've already made that up with vacancy savings by being essentially in a hiring freeze for all of this year. Uh, it doesn't help us to, to say, to cry gloom and doom and out of control because we're not. We've eliminated $15 million in spending in the last budget. We're hitting our budget revenue estimates now. We're doing, we're working hard with the small business community, with the state and the federal government to get this economy turned around and growing again. I don't support any new taxes. Our two options are gross receipts tax and property tax. Now's not the time. We need more jobs. We need more people paying taxes, not higher taxes. Thanks. Well, let's see. Uh, we're talking uh, quality of life versus basic services, and without the basic services, fire, police, emergency medical, solid waste, water, sewer, there is no quality of life. Mm -hmm. That has to be first. So I think we need to set our priorities, do a good job there, and then talk about the other sort of luxuries, if you will. Um, <coughs> We need to stay focused on what we've started. As an example, you know we've gone through annexation. We've talked about annexation for the last 20 years. We have a good plan. Maybe we can scale it back a little bit. But that annexation has, has identified growth areas that will accommodate you know, future growth. And it, with better planning in those areas, we can provide the inventory that people need in different price points so that they can stay in town. The budget, you need to talk to your other counselors because we do have a surplus and we need to use that now as a rainy day fund to try to move some of these initiatives forward. That's stagnant. 